Hello everyone, welcome to Movie Memories. Today I bring you a classic sci-fi movie, Hollow Man, late night in New York. Kane is a brilliant scientist. As a scientist in a secret research group of the US military, he's working on techniques for biological invisibility. Although they have made animals invisible, but it's easy to be invisible. Kane has been unable to find methods for maintaining molecular stability during morphogenesis. This is very frustrating for Kane. Disappointed, he looked at the beautiful woman in the opposite room, the pretty girl in the opposite. Building comes back from get off work every night. He'll watch people change clothes. Critical moment. Curtains always block the view. She can only continue to go back to the computer to do the analysis. Maybe it was just stimulated. In a flash, he completes the equation. Computer simulation results. The experiment declared a success. He called his deputy Linda as soon as possible. Call all members back to the laboratory to do clinical experiments. This excites Linda. She jumped into bed and woke up her new boyfriend, Matt who is also a team member. Early in the morning they return to their secret base in the suburbs. Come to the research room on on the 12th floor of the basement. Assistant Matt went to bring an invisible gorilla over. Gorilla bites Matt when cage door is opened. Violence of orangutans intensifies after invisibility. Escape the cage. Everyone finally caught this big guy. The invisible orangutan was sent to the lab. You can see from the bandage that he's breathing. Dr. Sarah skillfully finds veins. Kane is full of confidence. Inject red reconstituted protein. A miraculous scene appears. The protein flows through the veins to the heart and begins to spread rapidly throughout the body. However, when the muscles start to show. The gorilla growled in pain. Gorilla's heart stops beating. They hurriedly delivered electric shocks. After using several consecutive shocks, its heart is finally beating again. At the same time, the appearance has entered the final stage. Orangutan skin slowly covers its body. A normal orangutan finally appeared in front of them. Everyone in the lab couldn't hold back the ecstasy in their hearts. The stealth restoration experiment has been declared a success so far. Gotta celebrate tonight. Inside the Hilton Hotel, group members staggered in laughter and laughter. Except for Kane. He was alone on the balcony. Linda came to comfort him. It turned out that Kane wanted the two to get back together and can't help but want to kiss Linda. But Linda decisively declined Kane's request. The next day the three came to the Pentagon, make periodic work reports to senior military officials. Kane had yesterday's results. Ask higher-ups to give more time. It turns out he has his own little abacus. If declared successful, military to retract research soon. He decided to go straight to the third stage of human invisibility and recovery. After convincing Linda and Matt, they go back to the lab and tell other colleagues. Colleagues. Military agrees to enter phase 3 human trials. The experimental target is Kane himself. He's going to be the world's first invisible man. Experiment starts. Excited and nervous. All kinds of moods mixed together. But as a scientist, this is the most glorious moment. Kane laying on the test bed with his limbs tied. After receiving the blue invisibility, he injects himself. Body heats up after a few minutes. The stinging pain spreads all over the body along the spine. Blood pressure soars with heartbeat. Skin slowly disappearing. Muscle and bone loss is visible to the naked eye. Eventually Kane turned into a tiny depression on the operating table. Then the signs gradually stabilized. 1826 Kane officially goes into stealth. Be the first invisible man in the world. Due to overexcited, Kane fainted temporarily. Matt and Linda kept watch till late at night. Kane wakes up and walks to the mirror. Look into the transparent self. The players also saw Kane in an invisible state for the first time. He's in a good mood and jokes with everyone. He will then have to wait three days to observe and record vital signs. Restoring again will end the whole experiment. Dr. Sarah is staying on on duty tonight. Boring. Sarah fell asleep on the chair tiredly. Invisible Kane comes out of the room. Sneak into the surveillance room and watch Sarah sleeping. First gently stroke her hair. Then the hands began to become more and more dishonest. Sarah woke up suddenly. Was she dreaming? Via thermal monitor. Just happened to see Kane just now back in bed. It's no joke that there's an invisible man here. When the female assistant goes to the toilet. Gotta check it out with thermal glasses. Linda is on duty tonight. Kane is even more impolite. Start a crazy chat with her directly. And kissed Linda. And did some nasty things to her. Kane actually wants her to satisfy his desires. Linda didn't lose her temper when she saw that everyone had feelings before. It's been three days. Steady state of invisibility lasted for 86 hours. Everything is ready. With the injection of red developer, like the previous gorillas, first see the blood vessels and the heart. But various physiological indexes soared wildly. Muscle tissue recovery mess. Kane becomes extremely violent. Jump off the lab bed and attack your partner. The moment when the development recovery is about to be completed. Kane fainted. Everyone carried him back to the laboratory bed. Heartbeat stopped. Several people are busy inserting the throat, cardiac pacing, etc. Various first aids. Finally pulled Kane back from the gate of hell. The effect of the developer agent gradually fades away. Back to invisibility again. The experiment failed. So far, Linda, 
They helped make a rubber headgear and sunglasses. Looks a little weird, but at least it gives the partners a sense of security. Another week, Matt and Linda are also working hard to find a new revealing formula, but lacks the genius of Kane's brain. Everything becomes very difficult. At the same time, Kane began to vomit violently, accompanied by restlessness, yelling at partners with foul language. A laboratory dozens of meters deep underground, sleepy like a prison. Fear of the unknown and restlessness tormented him. I can't stand it anymore. I want some fresh air. Little assistant Carter couldn't persuade him at all. Watching him enter the elevator, I can only call Linda quickly. Get out of the lab and back to the ground. Kane drove his 911 back to the city for a wild ride. Release pent up emotions. Don't forget the next two bear children. Back to my apartment. The girl in the opposite building has just arrived home and is getting ready to change her clothes. Curtains are drawn at critical moments. Look at yourself in the mirror. A thought flashed through my mind. Girl just took a bath. Hair hasn't had time to dry. The doorbell rang suddenly. She put on a bathrobe and looked at the door through the cat's eye. No one. She didn't care much about the bell ringing frantically again. Just open the door and come out. Only see the empty hallway. Who is pranking? At this time, Invisible Kane took the opportunity to sneak into the room, unknowingly following behind. The girl didn't know that someone started putting on makeup next. Look at this woman who just took a shower. Desire is like a gushing volcano. Hard to suppress. Mirror that moves for no reason on the dressing table. Let the beauty discover the abnormality in the room, but still caught by Kane's invisible hand. Forced down on the bed, inside the laboratory, everyone got all the equipment and are trying to get him back. Kane then slowly pushed the door in. Linda is very angry that the experiment is still under wraps. It's against the rules to leave without permission. Everyone was arguing about it. The next computer simulation experiment failed. Kane's mood is at rock bottom, and arguing with Matt again. I was so restless that night. I couldn't sleep. Looking at the overhead thermal monitor, he got crooked. Then I found a tool to do something with the monitor. Make the video scroll create the illusion of sleeping in bed. After leaving the base, go downstairs to Linda, sneaked up the fire escape from the back, just met Matt and Linda on a date. Furious Kane shatters the window. A woman's sixth sense leads Linda to guess Kane was there. Immediately call and ask the colleagues in the duty room. After learning that Kane is still sleeping, Linda can only hang up the phone suspiciously. After returning to the laboratory, Kane's anger is still not extinguished, and brutally fell to death an experimental puppy. Matt and Linda don't feel right, rush back to the lab and discovered Kane little trick. Things are starting to get out of hand. Linda and Matt find the experiment leader, Dr. Howard, report the general situation. Unexpectedly, all their conversations are clearly seen. After sending Matt away, Howard wants to call. Unexpectedly, the telephone line was cut off. The back door of the house is open again, so he went to the garden to see what was going on. Howard, who was pressed into the water, is an opponent, drowned in the pool in minutes. Linda, who had just returned to the lab the next day, wanted to call and ask about the situation. Learned that Dr. Howard drowned last night. Matt listened next to him and understood what was going on. They want to get out of here and go to the Pentagon. Found that the elevator password has been changed. Linda was a little unconvinced at first. Back to the lab. Frank checked the network. All passwords have been changed. And only Kane has this authority. Everyone put on infrared thermal glasses and ready to ask. When she came out, the last female assistant was attacked. Strangled alive. The rest of the people came to the room and no one was there. Only when I looked back did I realize that the assistant didn't keep up. When I go back again, only dead bodies were found. Obviously Kane is going to kill them all. No one knew the existence of the invisible man. They took out the motion sensor they used to find the invisible mouse. Locked Kane's position. Others stay in the monitoring center to crack the password to open the elevator. Matt and male assistant Carter go out to find Kane. Motion sensing can only display approximate location. Can't show high and low. Smart Kane hides above the exhaust pipe. Taking advantage of Carter's inattentiveness. He grabbed his neck and pulled it up. In a critical moment, Matt pulled the trigger and pierced the heating pipe. The steam scalded Kane. He tossed Carter aside. Carter's head hits the corner. Go where it's full of steam. Interfering with the thermal glasses can't do anything for a while. Bullets are fired. Matt Nakashingzi picked up the fire extinguisher and sprayed it. Can only vaguely see the figure of Kane. The hidden advantage is still great. Matt was knocked to the ground in a blink of an eye. Fortunately, Linda arrived just in time. Pull Matt back and close the gate. Sarah leads Frank to Carter. Look at the blood that keeps pouring out. She knew that Carter needed a blood transfusion right away to save his life. Go back to the medical room to get the plasma. The door suddenly closed by itself. Sarah is smart too. Throw the plasma on the ground in front, waiting for Kane's footsteps to appear. But Kane was more cunning and walked behind. Knocked Sarah down in a few strokes, then put the anesthetic on her chest. In the end, the killer is mercilessly. On the other side, Carter has lost his vital signs. Matt and Linda find Frank. The three return to the medical room to find blood all over the floor. Sarah's body is in the freezer. Everyone hasn't reacted. Frank was brutally murdered. Iron pipe pierced through chest. Matt just got up and got a tube inserted into his stomach. The two were immediately locked in the refrigerator 
refrigerator. Kane adjusted the temperature to minus 50 degrees, waiting for the two will be frozen to death. Kane changed clothes and put on a hood. After dressing up, go back to the lab. Make liquid explosives. He's going to clean up everything here. Include data and people. Then no one can find him anymore. A lot of liquid explosives are put into the centrifuge and set a five-minute countdown. Cold, hopeless and fearful cold storage room. Linda calm down. After all, a scientist can't even handle a door. She uses a wire door handle plus a pacemaker's electromagnetic suction, formed a powerful magnetic attraction device, finally opened the refrigerated door. Calm Kane just walked into the elevator. Linda's voice, raise the flamethrower and spray it at the elevator. A fire dragon surrounds Kane, although invisible, but the fire still hurts. Kane screamed and struggled to jump out of the elevator. Take off your clothes while running, back to invisibility again. Linda points the torch at the sprinkler head, activate the fire extinguishing device and sprinkle water. Kane shows basic outline. The advantage of physical fitness is still reflected in men. Knocks Linda to the ground in no time, and stomped on his neck with his feet. I'm about to die. Matt wakes up just in time. Kane knocked out with a stick. No more movement. The two return to the elevator to find that it had stopped running. Just get to the top of the elevator. Climb back to the ground along the maintenance ladder. Countdown is over. Bomb explosion. The laboratory turns into a sea of fire. The explosion creates a huge wave of air. Just push the elevator up. With a screeching screeching sound, the elevator comes down again. The emergency brakes kicked in and got stuck on top of their heads. The two thought it was safe to get down and continue to climb up. The still dead cane appears. Hug Linda hard and die together. During the struggle, both fell to the top of the elevator. Matt wants to save people, but he can't protect himself. Kane hugs Linda tightly for a parting kiss. Linda, who saw the opportunity, grabbed the cable, kick away the connection point, send Kane to the fiery hell below. The movie is over. Movie Transparent Man aka Invisible Man and Demon, released in 2000, by instinct, directed by Paul Fanlon, the great director of the Iron Armored Dragon, the evil side of human nature, undeniable, in front of one's own private, people get crazy easily, if you have extraordinary ability, can man surpass himself, what about moral or even legal constraints, the video discusses this very well. If you haven't seen it, recommend it. If you like my commentary, please pay attention to the message and forward. See you next time.